So, my first loud colour was the uh, electric orange, um, as you can see here. Ah, uh, where was we at? <laughs> yeah, I went to get this white. Hey, yeah, Sean! I went to get, that's my buddy who used to work with me. He's now working for another company. I'll mention him, Sean Byrne. Um, so yeah, I went to get this beautiful white car and it turns out that when we got there, it wasn't white, it was electric orange. And I said to the man on the forecourt, who was the sales rep, uh, you advertised this car, I paid a deposit, I came down to see it especially, um, I put the deposit down because I didn't want it to be uh, taken off, uh, it was quite far away, it was all the way in Wales, and it wasn't there, they only had the orange one. Yes, it was an ST3, it didn't have the sunroof, and it wasn't white, and I thought to myself, this is after having a dark blue one, the uh, performance blue, I thought to myself, I've come all this way, I might as well just have a drive of it to see what it's like. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about it. I walked away from there because it wasn't what I went to see. And um, although I really loved the car, I said, no, I, I wanted a white one. I can't see myself in an orange one. Uh, and funny enough, like within the next two days, I was driving around where I used to live and I was sitting at some traffic lights and the facelift uh, Mark 2.5 electric orange ST pulled up behind me and I was looking in the mirror and I could see myself I was obviously in a blue car looking in the mirror at this orange car and I was I could I made the connection and I was like I'm gonna have that orange one I'm gonna go for that so I found the dealership the next morning and I said have you still got it they said yes, I said, is my deposit still valid because I originally put it on another car? Uh, he said, yeah, because that for some reason got mixed up and that was in the system, my deposit was still valid. So I said, okay, I'll take it. I've driven the car, I'm happy with it. Send me the paperwork or, or send the guy down with the car because I'm not prepared to come and get it. And I will then take it off your hands for the price that it was advertised for. I could have probably knocked him down a peg or two because it wasn't as advertised, um, but I, I paid for it and um, I ended up owning that car for a while and people used to say back then, why such a bright colour, why orange? And you know, I think it has something to do with the fact that this car was originally designed and advertised by Ford in this colour. This is the colour that was like this is it, this is the ST, this is what you get. And I had to have it, because at the time when it was released, the Mark II was only released in the blue and the orange. And it was only later on they released it in red, the silver, the black. And I believe that was true of the Mark III as well. This Mark III in tangerine screen uh, was originally debuted in this color. Back to why I have the ST in this colour, because it's sexy, I love it and it turns heads. And people always say to me, why have you got that car? Why have you got that colour? Because this is me, yeah? I like to be noticed. I like to have something that not a lot of people have got. Yes, there's a lot of STs on the road. Yes, there's a lot of tangerine screen and STs on the road, but generally, don't usually find two or three of them in the same road together you know you don't usually see two running on the same town together at the same time if you do it's a rare occurrence and you just have to flash each other and be fun with them you know uh, something that us focus st drivers tend to like to do there's an rs driver who put his thumb up at me uh, yesterday as he was driving past flashed his lights i love that i love the community that we've got uh, we've got a great community of Focus fans. Uh, join the Focus Owners Club, which is a great club to be a part of. Join it on Facebook. 
uh, or you could go through the membership site and pay for a subscription which doesn't cost a lot and the benefits you would get out of it are immense. Uh, I, I was on there for a number of years, I came away and now I'm just part of the Facebook crew. Um, there's the Rolling Oval South which is a Facebook group which is a new one that I've just joined uh, which I seriously recommend because there's some funny guys on there they'll be willing to talk to you and help you with whatever your project needs are and uh, even just general silly things like why doesn't my focus have a petrol cap <laughs> I'm sure you'll find the information you need on there um, other than that um, the only other problem I would like to say, according to uh, what my life has been like since having this colour, um, is why have you got an orange car? Does it look orange? <laughs> what colour is it? Write your comments in the bottom let me know what you think it is whether it's orange or yellow we'll do the ketchup in the fridge or ketchup not in the fridge or we'll do the toilet roll this way or the toilet roll that way <coughs> we'll like marmite marmite do you like it or do you hate it do you like tangerine scream do you love tangerine scream is it yellow or is it orange we're gonna do that guys we're gonna see how many people we can comment on this I might even do a Facebook post and see if we can get a vote going to see which it looks more like uh, the orange or the yellow I'd quite happily sit in the middle with tangerine because that's what it is but you tell me what you think it is okay and don't forget subscribe to my channel and I will try my best to get you some good content in a few weeks. Uh, my next uh, video should be about the in-car entertainment system and we should have some more videos or some more footage uh, from the bonnet as a finished product uh, and the washer caps as well, which, uh, oh, I went to the fraud dealership to ask about the washer jets that come from the bumper to squirt up onto the bison on headlamps. Yes, I know I don't have Bison on headlamps, but the little plastic caps that go over the holes in my bumper, because I've obviously picked the wrong one up, um, would need to stick on. And rather than stick them to the bodywork, the bumper, I would have rather had the mechanism in place so that at a later date, should I want to upgrade to Bison on headlamps in some way or another, I can just bolt them on and then everything is there ready for me. All I would have needed was some pipe, a different washer bottle perhaps, or maybe I could have put a hole in the one that it's got with the additional pump. Um, and what happens is, every three presses of the washers, uh, the headlight washers squirt out and wash the headlights. Um, so I went to the Ford dealership in Epsom, and I asked them about that because, uh, I don't know if you remember on one of my previous videos, I did show you that I, I've completely done transformation of a titanium mark II to make it look from a standard focus to look like a real st uh, which was in aquarius blue beautiful color i wish they still made that um, and and basically when i got the parts for that it was something silly like eight pound fifty for the left hand side and nine pound fifty for the right hand side something to do with they don't make as many of one side as they do the other hence why it's cheaper um, and so I went to find out thinking it would be something like this, maybe £16 for each side. Um, I went to the dealership and they said to me, yes sir, it's £152 each. I'm sorry. Yes sir, it's £152 for the left and £152 for the right. Are you serious? That's £304 for two little pieces of plastic that you can't even see that only come up every now and again that I won't be actually using yet. Just to hold on two little plastic squares that, are color, that will be color coded to the car because I don't want holes in my bumper because that was the only bumper available to me when I bought it. And I thought, it's okay 
get the washers fitted. £304. You're having a right old dinosaur in there, mate. I think I'll go to eBay and get them from there. <sighs> so, I went off to eBay. And Breakers Companies and, and other people who are selling these, pro these products are like... I know how much they cost at the dealership. The fraud dealership. I'll charge the same price. Oh right, so I can't buy them anywhere now because they're just ridiculously priced. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy some 3M adhesive tape. I'm going to carefully put it all around, around the edges of the new squares that go over the bumper. And I'm going to gently line them up and squeeze them down onto the bumper. And then they will never have to come off. I don't need the washers. Not on £304. You know, this thing is ridiculous. It just clips in. You could steal them from another car. All you have to do is pull the washers off, put your hands in the little gap, pinch them together, and they, they, they slide off of the mount that's already built into the car. I'm not crazy. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll get some 3M tape, double-sided, line it all up beautifully, stick it down, I might even put some sort of clamp on there to hold it down for a couple of days and then uh, we'll, we'll be in business, it won't move. And then the car will look trick. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is going to make the car look trick. This see if trick sticks. Okay, so let me know in the comments how you feel about me and my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends. Put it all over Facebook if you have to, yeah? I'm doing this for you guys, I'm helping you out, I'm having a chat with you guys, uh, and I'd like your feedback. Um, let me know what you think of this car. Is it orange? <laughs> Where's that thing gone? Yeah, or yellow? Oh. Or is it tangerine screen? Okay, you guys let me know, tell me what you think. I'll see you guys soon, take care. And here's some pictures from my bonnet from last night.